Welcome everybody. Uh, as with our last episode, we're working on a random number generator. And at the end of the episode, we found out that it generates the same random numbers every time. Um, so, I had mentioned about looking into why it's doing that. And I found out why. Now, I do remember there being a problem with using the rand function that you had to do something to get it to be truly random. But I couldn't remember exactly what it was, but uh, I'll make sure that there's a link in the description. But if you look up the c++.com website, you will find that there is a uh, function that's part of the STD LIB uh, standard library that uses the rand function. It's called srand. Uh, the function is called srand. And you can use that to make it truly random. What you gotta do is you gotta give it a number to generate its random numbers from. Now, you can't just throw any number in there. See, I'll show you here. It's, gonna, it's kinda like a seed. You have to have it generate a seed to make these random numbers. So, I'll go like this. And then you can put in any number you want. Like, I'll put five in here for now. Now, last time, if you remember, when it was generating its random numbers, the first number was two. Let's see if it's two again. Nope, it's five now. Now, the second number was five. Oops, I forgot to hit yes. Let's try that again. Now, we'll do two again. I'll hit yes. Second number was five. The second number is still five. So it picked five twice? Wait. That's not how it's supposed to work. Let's do five again. Oh. Well, that's not how it was supposed to work. There. Oop, I bumped the button there. That's not how it was supposed to work from what I read. From what I read, let's see if I can find it here quick. Give me a second. Okay, so the srand function is a pseudo random number generator. It is initialized using the argument passed as seed. For every different seed value used to call the to srand. Oh, I know what the problem is. It's generating the same number first every time. I need to put this up here. Because it's using the seed, but it's re initializing the random number generator every time. So, what we want to do is put this up near the top so let's do this but we need to put a tab oh, there we go put a tab in front of it so now let's try it that should fix that problem okay so four it was supposed to be five was gonna be the first number okay that's right so let's make sure it's not doing five again nope this time it's doing four all right, and after that was five before we put the srand function in. Oops, I forgot to hit yes again. <laughs> so two, yes, five, yes, eight. Okay, so it's generating different numbers, but it's generating the same numbers every time. Because it's using the same seed every time to generate this random number generator. It's the same seed to initialize random number generator, so it's gonna generate the same numbers every single time. Now, there is a way to fix this. The best way is to use the time clock, which is another function. Uh, returns the value from a set date. I can't remember the exact date. Uh, if you really want to know, you definitely can look it up. But it generates a number based off of a certain date and time. I think it's from like 1997 or something like that. It's an amount of seconds or something like that from that time. So when we call this function, it generates that number for you. And then there you can calculate the time. So what the function is called is time, and then we're going to pass a null to that function. All right, so now let's try this again. No, what was the... All right, let me see. Oh, I need the time. I need to include time. So we'll include time real quick. That should fix that problem. Alright, so let's try it. We'll do two. Okay, the first number was three. Play again, we'll do five. So one. And then we'll play again, we'll do one. Okay, so it's three, one, ten. Let's play again. 
Let's try three. Ooh, it was one. See how it's generating different numbers every time. Let's do again. So it was three, one. No, that time it was seven. And then the last number was 10. Now it was eight. So now it's a truly random number generator. It randomly generates numbers all of the time. So that was the quick fix to that. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the, the like button. If you want to get updates as to when I make new videos, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any comments for new videos that I can do, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Um, I'm currently working on a frame build for a new 3D printer, which will be a future video. And I'm also getting a Prusa i3 Mark III, which I want to try to videotape an unboxing and build of it. I know there's plenty of them out there, but if I'm going to, I'm going to be building it, so why not just film it? I also have uh, a soldering video that I'm going to post, just a quick soldering of some LEDs. And then I have a couple other little projects that I have planned, but I don't want to reveal everything. So you'll have to look forward to finding some new ones. Um, I'll see you next time.